Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. This afternoon, I was minding my own business, working on a website, when I noticed there were some updates. The Free Cadence Blocks plugin and the Pro Cadence Blocks plugins both had an update. I went and took a look at the change log, and I was blown away. The Cadence team has done it again. So this is a first look at three new blocks, flex control layouts, and Metabox support. Okay, here's the Cadence Blocks change log. This is the free plugin. We have flex control layouts, new show more block, some new options added, and some fixes. If we look at the pro version, we have a new dynamic list block and Metabox support. When I said that Cadence was on a roll and that they've done it again, I really mean it. Here we are, 8th of April. If we go to the 7th of March, they added the new Google Maps block. If we go to the 7th of February, they added the new Lottie Animations block and Count Up block. If we go to the 14th of January, they added the new Advanced Image block. So the team is really on a roll. All right, so here's a first look at the new features that were just released. Here I am, I've got the pro version of the Cadence theme and I've got Metabox installed on the site. See, I have a bunch of demo content, plus I have a custom post type, Books, which was created using Metabox. Let's go and add a new page. Okay, and I'm going to add a new section block. This is the first new block that there is. Something I want you to see here is this is used now without the row layout block. Let's just remove that for a second. See if we went to row layout, see it puts the sections inside. That's what we had before for the columns. Okay, but now we can use this sections without the row layout block. Okay, so I'm going to add the section. Okay, and inside of the section, I'm going to add two more sections. Okay, and I'm gonna make this up at the same level. Okay, so in this one, I'll add the Cadence Advanced Image Block and pick an image from the media library. And in this one, let's add, I think there's an icon box, an info box, there we go. Okay, so All right, now I'm gonna to go to the section and go to Flex Align Settings. Right now it's vertical, but I'm gonna make it horizontal. So this is just a first implementation. There may be more Flexbox controls they can add, but this gives us an idea of the direction that Cadence Blocks is going in, and I think it's pretty exciting. Now we've seen the section block Let's go take a look at the show more block. We'll edit the page and let's add show more. Okay, and up here, let's look here. So in the section area, I'm going to add advanced text. And then I'll add a bunch of demo data. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a spacer at the bottom. Okay, and you'll see why in a minute. If we go up to the show more settings, we can adjust how much of the content shows in the preview. So I'm gonna make it 150. We can turn on this fade out preview. Then there are spacing settings and expand settings. So I'm gonna update this. Okay, let's go and preview. Here's our preview. We do show more, show less. I put that spacing in there just so we'd have more space between the text and the button. You can adjust that as you want. Okay, so we've looked at the flex layout option. We've looked at the section block. We've looked at the new show more block. Now there's one more block, which is the dynamic list block. And we'll look at that while we're looking at the Metabox integration. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to the dashboard. Under Appearance, Cadence, 
In order to use the theme builder, you need to make sure that hooked elements is enabled. Then we'll go to elements. Okay, let's go add new. This is going to be a template and we'll call it book single. Okay, let's do a quick look here at a book record so you can see what custom fields it has. So we have the author of the book, which is a relationship field, but we have that in the title here. We have the publication date, the reviewer rating, and price by format. These are repeater fields. We have the genre, okay, and the featured image. Let's go now to the settings for the template. Let's set the preview settings. We want it to be a book. We'll select the sequin. Okay, we want it to replace the single content on single books and we want it visible to all users. Okay, so now I'm going to add a row layout block and here we'll add the advanced image and this will be a dynamic field featured image. Okay, so we'll align that center. Then here we'll have advanced text and this will be the post title. Then we'll add the core block post content. Then over here we'll add advanced text and let's make it a paragraph. Let's align it center. This will be reviewer or rating and we'll add the custom field for that. Okay, and there's the reviewer rating. Okay, now below the content, let's add that new block, the dynamic list. Let's move that over here. Okay, and what the dynamic list block does is it lets us output the taxonomy terms that were assigned. So let's choose the taxonomy. And there it is. You can have it as a link or not, and you've got some divider and styling options. Okay, let's publish this. And we'll go to the front end. We haven't done anything with our archive yet, but let's look at one of the posts. Here's our reviewer rating from the Metabox field and the taxonomy, the custom taxonomy created with Metabox and showing using the dynamic list. And here's another record, rating three, legal thriller. This is our first look at the new updates to the Cadence blocks. We've looked at the new section block, and we've looked at the Flex layout option. We've looked at the Show More block, and we've looked at the Dynamic List block. We also use the Cadence Theme Builder, the Dynamic Data options, with the new Metabox integration. So this is yet another stellar release from the Cadence team. The men and women from the team are doing a great job and Cadence is just hitting it out of the park. So that's the first look at these new features. There's a text summary available on the WebTNG website, along with other walkthroughs, reviews, and videos. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.